This video will show you how to change your course settings. Click Edit Settings. We are now looking at the fields we can change. Those fields with a red asterisk beside them are required fields. The help icon beside each field tells you what the field is for and how it is used in Moodle. The category tells us where the course is located within Moodle. The course full name is displayed at the top of every page and in the list of courses. It is useful to include the academic session in the name as well. The course short name is used as a shorthand for the course and will appear as a link in the navigation bar. Again, we recommend you use the academic year followed by an underscore and the course code. You can get the course code from the university course catalog or from my campus. If you enter the course code into the course short name without the academic session, this will automatically enroll students who are registered on this course in my campus. We recommend that you include the academic year in the course short name while you are working on the course and not make the course available to students. When the course is ready for the students, put in the full um, course code into the course ID number. This will automatically enroll students into this course and when the student next log into Moodle, they will see this course in the list of courses. You can type in the course description in the course summary box. This will not be displayed on the list of my courses, unlike Moodle 1.9, but you can display it as a course summary block on your course main page. The course format determines the layout of the course page. Typically, you will organize the course into topic or weekly sections. If you choose a weekly format, the course start date determines the start of the first week. We will set the course to topics format and in the formatting options for topics format, let us set the course layout to show one section per page. We make this course available to students and scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. I have set up this course to use topics format and the course layout is set to show one section per page. I've renamed the topics to, topic, to web conferencing, assessment, Chinese pronunciation and so on. Let's click on the first section. You will see that the course summary, which I've renamed to course information and forum, stays at the top regardless of which section I'm in. I can navigate to the previous section, to the next section, or return to the main course page. 